the locker room before the game and you know, there's not much more you can say is play together and hard work. Well, he said to have fun, too. You right. know, I tell you, that's a, that's a key, having fun. And uh, it's their home opener, and I know they're excited, and there's the butterflies to be going pretty good in those stomachs today. Let's look at the starting lineups for the Pirates of Seton Hall. Jamar Nutter along with Eugene Harvey and Brian Lang and Stan Gaines. And then band in the middle, Tim Berkeley, they're saying, is the... Uh, starter for Seton Hall, but I don't know where Tim Berkeley comes from because I don't have more new roster than I have. I, I think they're starting a big fella day. Grant, Grant <laughs> Bill Meyer's getting the start. He uh, certainly is. Yeah, as num you look. Number 33 uh, is Bill Meyer. He's getting the start for the Pirates today. And Boo Coley will jump center along with Joe Green, along with Reggie Holmes and Roger Barnes and Ronald Temis. As you look at Tom, Todd Bozeman, what a story he is and has been. And finally back into coaching after a 10-year ban and Actually, an eight-year ban, but uh, 10 years out of the game. Well, it's good to see Ty back on the sidelines, and I know he's excited about being here at Morgan State. He certainly is. The officials, Bernard Clinton, Earl Walton, and Sean Hall, are signed by the MEAC and Morgan State in their home white jerseys. They win the opening tip. Gerald Green bringing the ball up the floor, the junior out of Southern High here in Baltimore, Maryland. There's Tennis with the ball right now. Down low to Coley. In the lane, and they're going to call traveling on Boo Coley. He's a grad student, a communications major, believe it or not. Well, I, I, like, the, I like the fact that they went down first possession and got the ball inside. He did travel, but i tell you what, one inside presence is, is important to start the game. Here's Harvey with the ball for Seton Hall. Dumps it down low to Stan Gaines. Gaines in the lane, and he puts it up over Ronald Temis, and Temis will draw the foul. Let's look at the keys to the game. Well, the keys to the game today for Seton Hall is they got out rebound in their last game out against Fairleigh Dickinson University. They've got to clean the glass on the boards and take care of the rebounding today. And they also have to create offense off their defense. Bobby Gonzalez likes to press and get offense off their defense. Morgan State have to take care of the rock today. Uh, the off pressure defense from Bobby Gonzalez and they got to contest all shots. Uh, Coach Bozeman was not pleased with uh, contesting the shots the last time out. And at the free throw line, Stan Gaines, as you look at Todd Bozeman there. Todd is in his first year back after being a head coach at Cal. And Gaines hits a pair of free throws and it's 2 nothing with visitors on top early on. Gaines had 10 points in their last outing against Fairleigh Dickinson. Pressure in the front court, but they get it out and the turnover. This time, Reggie Holmes, his second straight turnover for the Bears of Morgan State on two trips down the floor. Charlie, point of emphasis this year is carrying the basketball, palming the basketball. It's been seen throughout all the early season games, and they're really making an emphasis of that this year. Gene Harvey, the freshman out of Brooklyn, New York, with the St. Benedict's prep. Got the ball in his hands right now. But on the floor, almost taken away by the Bears of Morgan State. Seton Hall started the season with a win over Caldwell, 91-52, as they get inside and pick up two more points and take a four to nothing lead. And the basket by Stan Gaines, he has all of their points. Now you see the Pirates full court pressure right here. Left around low. That may have been a travel, but he got away with that at his goalie that time. Almost a third straight turnover, but for all practical purposes it is because they come away with nothing on that possession. Dumping it inside the games and is knocked away. Goes off of the hands of Gerald Green. Charlie, it's good to see that both teams have come out and have really been determined to get the ball inside. There hasn't been a jump shot. People are really trying to power it inside, which I think is really good to start the game. You know, we talked about the Seton Hall Pirates starting the season with a victory over Caldwell, 91-52. They lost to Fairleigh Dickinson by five in their last outing. Looks like uh, the Bears are in a 2-3 zone versus out of bounds underneath, Charlie. They've been playing man-to-man -man defense. A lot of coaches, when they have the ball uh, defending out of bounds underneath, they go to a 2-3 zone, and that looks like uh, that's what the Bears are going to right now. Well, they've got a problem with the clock. Our official Bernard Clinton, a referee in the game. As we look at the marquee matchups of this particular game, there's one of them, Ronald Temis. He's a grad student, did not play a year ago because of a disagreement with the former coach, Butch Beard, and decided he would sit out and 
pay his own way to school a year ago, and because of that, he still has eligibility, and he's on scholarship here, and he's a public administration major. Good for him. He's uh, he's a grad a grad student, and uh, had to pay his own 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 school for a year, and that showed Doc, showed Todd Bozeman how much dedication he had, and what he and then Brian Lang uh, is is leading the Pirates. In the first two games averaging 22 points a game. He's their best outside shooter. So you can watch the uh, four, number 14, Brian Lane. So Eugene Harvey, the freshman out of Brooklyn, inbounds the ball. There's a three-pointer, the long ball by Nutter. And he can hit those long shots. And the clock again is an issue with the uh, clock. Let's look at uh, Mr. Nutter, the junior from Bloomfield, New Jersey, shooting 35% from downtown. Set play out of bounds, double screen on the top. Uh, for the three-point look for Nutter. And uh, Nutter the being their second leading scorer. Good out-of-bounds play by Bobby, Bobby Gonzalez. This is the home opener for the Bears of Morgan State. Also the home opener for the top operating crew there. And we're going to get a travel again as Big Bill Meyer was there to cut off the lane as Boo Coley tried to drive inside. Opening day jitters for the Bears right now. Excited about being their home opener. They'll settle down here a little bit. Uh, turn the ball over for first few possessions, but they'll settle in the ball. Harvey tried to get it down low, trying to get it inside to Skeens. Three turnovers and five possessions for the Bears of Morgan State. Will Meyer down low. Puts it up for two. And it's a 9 nothing lead for the visitors from Seton Hall. Bears have to handle this pressure right now, Charlie. Full court pressure. This is the key to the game. Into the front court. Tennis dents it down low. And a foul is going to be whistled against Seton Hall as Coley got the ball. Morgan State started the season with an 86 to 67 loss to East Carolina. They also lost to American U, 97-84, and to Virginia, 85-66. So that's the reason they're 0-3 right now. And they're going to call a foul. And this one is going to be called against Jamar Nutter. Last season, he was fifth in the Big East in three-point percentage. And Bobby Gonzalez not happy with the call. Well, I'll tell you, Charlie, that's another point of emphasis this year. When there's a loose ball situation and two people are going for the ball, referees this year are looking to see if anybody jumps on top. And that was the correct call. And it's still another problem with the clock. Opening day jitters for everybody, I guess. The clock, the scorekeeper, and all the players. What do you think, Charlie? Yeah, every, everybody, huh? Yeah. Bobby Gonzalez still pleading his case on the far sideline to Sean Hall, who made the call. Holy down low. Gets it back on high to Gerald Green. Green driving inside. And the shot put up by Timmis, but it wouldn't fall, and Lang with the rebound brings it all the way down the floor, puts up the jumper, it's no good. And Gerald Green with the rebound for the Bears. Timmis on the wing, and he is fouled, and he'll go to the line for two. Up and down basketball both ways. Transition defense is going to be very important. Both teams love to push the basketball. Both teams want a fast break and try to get easy baskets. You have to sprint back, get, build your defense in the paint, and make sure no one gets layups. Timmis, 60% from the free throw line so far this year. First shot is good. He's out of Wilson High in Washington, D.C. Substitution in the lineup. For Morgan State, Joseph McClain, a senior out of Newark, New Jersey, who started the first two games of the season for the Bears of Morgan State and now is coming off the bench right now. Checks into the lineup. Nice and touch makes them both. Nice touch by Timmis. Oh, the little pressure on the, on the Bears' part. No field goals for Morgan State so far. The only points have come by way of free throws. And Seton Hall with a seven-point advantage right now with 16.35 remaining in the first half. This three-pointer is no good. That was Eugene Harvey with the shot. Here's Gerald Green. He'll put up the jumper. It's off the mark, partially blocked. And they push the ball. Gaines into the front court. Gaines takes it all away, and they're going to call an offensive foul on Gaines. Stan Gaines. 